I'm going to be doing something very special in today's video. And I'm going to talk about it during a quick little time lapse of me doing some progress on my creeper farm. So I have a change in the direction of my base that I wanted to go. I was, before I was just digging out the inside of my cave and it was going to be so big, so deep, but now I'm going to be building these TNT flying machines and I'm just going to take out the whole roof so that I can make a custom land on top and hollow it all out from the beginning and it will be <laughs> a lot of work but I think this is going to be a lot more fun and a lot more effective way of you know having the build that I want to have. I want to do some mega build and I don't want to spend all that time digging. I'll still have to do a lot of digging but much much less now. So in the last video, we talked about a TNT duplicator machine and, a, and we went over how to build that. And to quickly summarize what you have to do is you hit F3 and see where it says facing and make sure it says you're facing north or south. So it's easy, you just make an L shape right there and an L shape right there. Put a wall right here, TNT right there. You put some dead coral fan right there a rail and then the cart and then you're going to want to attach a oops, a sticky piston to the end of it like so and with that you basically have a TNT duplicator machine whenever this piston turns on it'll make a TNT which means you can do all sorts of weird or cool creations kind of like this one here where I just attached an observer clock to two of them on each side. And this does make quite the machine. And it works, as you can see, really well. But the thing is, all of these, oof, lack, all of these blocks just to cover this much space. I mean, it's a good amount of space for a lot of people, but my plans are huge. And so I was going to turn this into what I hope was a successful TNT duplicating flying machine. Oh boy. And I've never made one before until pre preparing for this video, but I actually figured out, I actually figured it out pretty easy. You can make one as small as this, just two slime blocks, two pistons, and then an observer block facing like that, and one like that. If you power this, then this by itself is a flying machine. And so, theoretically, if I just on this slime block here built the machine itself, then I would have a flying TNT machine. Like so. Now let's just put down some obsidian. This is probably just going to blow itself up. But let's see. There we go. Promise. That's promise. Perfect. And in order to send it back, all I have to do is send an update to this piston or this observer right here. And so I put a simple system where you detect when this is there. You put, let's see, put some more of this there, there, and there. Get some redstone. So you put some redstone here, a repeater with four ticks here, just to lengthen this signal. And we're gonna put a trap door right here. And this will send it back. And on its way back, it won't do the TNT duplicating. And so if we do the exact same thing over on this side, then basically we have an automated TNT flying machine. Except, oh, see, that's what happens if you don't put this thing on, then it makes this weird thing happen where these two observers run into each other and you end up with just a mess. And so it's very important that you get this right. You Make sure you set this timer right, otherwise your flying machines will break. Let's see if I can get this back flying again. 
boop. There we go. Comes over here and automatically sends it back. Goes forward. And in order to turn this off, you'll want to get like a lever going into this block or some sort of power source coming in here, keeping this open. And so you can activate it whenever you want to by turning this off. Now we could set up a whole bunch of them like this and then have them all go together because I have a huge hole that needs to be dug out on the Aristoia craft server. So let's hop back on over there and let's get building. I put a circumference around and so I'll show myself building it. Switch this out for some creeper style look. I'm not so sure how I feel. Since this isn't, you know, it doesn't have two center blocks, it has one center block, I can't exactly do the creeper face. So I might do a whole different design. And I want to put these on all the sides. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do with this, but let me know. But, guys, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. The hole is so big. I've just started digging out here. Oh yeah, and something really sad happened. Nikandra was on the server, and I was helping her um, get mending on her shovel, and we went to the farm. I was showing her my god armor, and then I fell. I fell into the void, and it was really sad. So instead, I tried doing chain armor. I've never seen enchanted chain armor. Sadly, I can't do the whole god enchantment thing because that's got I got patched out. But I don't know. It's kind of cool to have chain armor for once. I had to farm for a while to get it. But man, this is be oh come on. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, <laughs> careful, careful. Let's put this elytra back on. <laughs> And just before I recorded this, I fell from there because I took my leecher off and just jumped off because of habit. Oh man, that's funny. Let's uh, let's get away from the slimes. Have it on, yeah. Okay. Fly, fly. There we go. And if any of you were wondering why I didn't remove this water source, the reason is I actually wanted to have a landmass here at the bottom of my big cave where I'm actually going to be building a village. And so I'm going to be kind of concaving, kind of going in and all of these walls to make it look like a more natural shape of a cave. And I'll be building some land bridges over this, some custom land bridges the way that I want them to be. And so that would be really cool. So I might do that. I might lay out like 
one main land bridge in this video. But yeah, these flying machines did really well. Like, I was actually surprised on how well these worked for me. There were a couple of them. I don't know if you saw in the time lapse. I mean, it was a really fast time lapse, but there was a few of them where I was just off on that the other obsidian block by just one. And so some of them kept flying until they blew themselves up on the trees over there. And some of them, like uh, the, lo the chunks got reloaded and the flying machines were all broken. I had to rebuild them. And so there was a few little mistakes, but I mean, the system itself works and it worked super well. This would have taken me so long. And, I mean, obviously I have my own work to do with the floating blocks everywhere. Shh. But I already have an idea on how I'm going to take care of that. All the ones that are down here, I'm going to be using a slow falling potion with an alicha. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's like you're flying or floating or not doing anything. Either that, or I could place TNT all over the place and shoot it with a fire arrow. That's an option. I'm trying to use a crossbow, though. And I don't think crossbows can do flame. And so, let's grab a bunch of stone and see if we can get a, at least one of the land bridge, like, the center of it laid out. It's going to come from, like, down here, attached to probably closer to the entrance up here. Now I'm, I'm never sure if I have my leech on. <laughs> Always check before you jump. Unless you're me and not very smart. Scary. That's right. I have a Riptide Trident. That's one of the, my new tools that I wanted to start using is a Riptide Trident. Oh, that... No, 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 no. You're not allowed to burn down my trees anymore. If you guys weren't aware, Riptide Trident with an Elytra is the fastest way to travel in the game. Look at those blocks I'm moving. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh my goodness. Careful. Am I really high or are things just not loading in underneath me? Oh, I was just really high. Wow. So in building like a natural bridge, you want to start like on the, like just for the layout parts, you'd want to start on the side that is lower on both sides. So like if it arches in the middle, you, ooh. if it arches in the middle, you start at both ends and meet in the middle, just cause it's a lot easier to build out and upwards than it is to build up downwards. Cause obviously you can't reach underneath without jumping off or having water. And so, yeah, just something to keep in mind. So I'm just kind of going to wing this. I I want like a big stretch of land to come in in the middle here. There'll be some big openings here, there. But we'll start here and head towards the entrance area. Another thing to keep in mind too is we're wanting to build like the bottom of the bridge. So it's going to be a little thicker. It's going to be wider. It's going to be like there's going to be dirt on top of this. It's going to have some greenery, some trees. You are on 3% volume. Why are you so loud? And so, yeah, just remember, this is the very bottom. Okay, yeah, we can't seem to make the mod... Stop it! The mod to work in a thunderstorm. It's really... No okay, all right, all right. That's enough. No more weather sounds for you. And there we have it. This is the start of the first land bridge. <laughs> Obviously, it looks like nothing right now, but I'm going to thicken it. I'm going to make it wider. I'm going to make it like coming in and out in certain parts to give like some natural light in sp specific areas. It's going to look really nice, but I'm going to go and figure out what I can do about this weather because I'm not the only one that's having troubles with it. And then I'll come back. If you are not afraid of dealing with a bunch of floating blocks, then go ahead and try building this. Make sure to use obsidian north and south and a contraption like this will send it right back and the way that i set it up here oh 
is I connected all of the... Well, okay. The way that I set it up here, instead of uh, making that return system here, like I have one over here that has it. And this one was able to go back and forth and back and forth until I turned it off. But I've obviously this is going to create a lot of lag. And so I tried sending them all off a couple times and it crashed the server twice. So that's that's the hundred percent times of that. So instead, I just uh, I connected redstone to the block next to the trap door and made it so like I, I cut some off so I'd only do like a handful at a time and I started from here as you saw in the video I didn't do them all at the same time and it works really well and again in the next video I'll try and clear up some of this off camera so that it looks a little bit nicer do a little bit more digging and then I'll probably get rid of these things just so that it doesn't obscure the view and we'll go from there but yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for me on ways to clean this place up, ways to clean the walls out, and also, most importantly for me right now, other than all that, is to make this look pretty. I want to figure out some sort of design or feature or function to do with the upper part of this creeper tower. And I mean, I love the design so far. I think it's really cool. I'm going to be attaching things. I'm going to, I don't know. I have ideas, but I want to know what you guys think. So leave your comments down below. And if you guys want to see the progress of this mega base, then be sure to subscribe. I am Frizz Critter, and I will see you guys next time.